Hello there and welcome to the Ghoul Academy open evening video for this year. Uh, my name is Mr Harrison, I'm the principal at Ghoul Academy. I'm delighted to be able to say I'm the principal at Ghoul Academy uh, and welcome along to our, our video for this year. So a bit about me then. So my name is Mr Harrison, I've been principal here for nearly four years now. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time in Ghoul, I really mean that. Uh, I've been in education now for over 20 years. Uh, I've really enjoyed being in education for that period of time. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing you on the evening. If I don't see you on the evening, then feel free to make an appointment, come in and speak to us. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about the school, um, what we're doing here. We understand how important the decision is to choose a secondary school for your child. And we understand for the children, how important it is to get their secondary school right. So we're doing everything to give you the information that you need so that you can make an informed decision and we know about the importance of education in terms of the life cycle and finding the right secondary school is really important because the decisions that you make around school and the, the uh, qualifications you achieve upon leaving school will have a huge factor on the rest of your life and if you get things right in school you're out to work or go out to university or into college or whatever it is that you choose to do those decisions make a huge impact on the rest of your life um, and we, we understand that, so we want to get things absolutely right for you. So we want to help you and support you in the decision that you're taking around secondary school. So why should you choose Ghoul Academy? Um, I'll give you a few reasons why I think you should choose Ghoul Academy. So um, number one, staff and students, and I'll expand on that in a little bit in a second. Uh, number two, the power of a multi-academy trust and, and the support we receive from our multi-academy trust. Number three, the investment that we've put in place here at Goal. Number four, the clear approach that we have and the impact that that has on, on the improvement and results for your children. And number five, the Delta philosophy that we have here of changing lives. And I'll talk to you a little bit about each now. So my number one reason for joining Goal Academy is the students and the staff. We have a great team of, of students and staff here and it's a pleasure to come here every day. Um, we have high expectations, but we have a, a really caring approach. And the things that support that, that you'll be interested in are our behaviour system. It's very clear, but it's very supportive. We have a great reward system for students where we do give out stickers on in lessons, but we do a rewards assembly every half term. Obviously we do other events right throughout the year, depending on which year group you're in. We have extensive support systems, particularly for children with special educational needs, and we have a great track record of improving outcomes on that. We develop good young citizens. We've great, got great relationships between students and staff here. And we, we, I'd really, if I'm honest, I want to be you to become part of a, a, an academy which is, I think is on a journey to outstanding. The next reason why I believe you should join us at Goal is the power of the multi-academy trust that we're in. So we're part of Delta Academies Trust. It's a wonderful trust. We have over 50 schools, a number of primary schools, a number of secondary schools. Um, so we have many benefits to that. So we have outstanding learning environments from the support that we get from the trust. We're able to share good practice amongst all the staff that we have and the subject expertise that we have, subject directors coming in, uh, the financial support that we receive, uh, the facilities support that we receive, the, so all the organisational side of things really improves the experience that we can, can deliver for our students and that power of shared systems, shared resources and shared expertise allows us to deliver for a great education here at Goal. The next thing I want to mention is investment. So we are fortunate to have some wonderful facilities here in Goal and we have a, a very large site and we're constantly undertaking improvements to improve the quality of learning and the experience for our children. We've recently had the whole site redecorated. We've just spent a significant sum on improving the sports hall, which was one of the older parts of the building. So new changing rooms, and we've turned that into a real state-of-the-art area. Uh, huge upgrades in ICT, which are just happening constantly. So improvement in the quality of provision so that students can get on access learning really quickly, and they're not waiting for computers to fire up or things, things moving slowly. So real emphasis on that that speed of learning for children. We have excellent classroom resources to support learning right across all the subject areas that we have in school. And, and then more recently, there's been significant investment in remote learning as well. And in particular, we'll be supplying every student in year seven with a, a tablet this year, um, just to support their learning. Um, and again, you know, we're, it's all about making sure that children have got absolutely everything they need to succeed in the school environment. 
Our track record here at Goal in the last three years has, has been um, one of, I think, what I'd describe as a transformation. Um, a big transformation in the culture and the feel of the school when you're in here and also that's translated into a big transformation in outcomes for children. Um, we've seen a huge increase in the number of children achieving a grade four including maths and English which is a standard pass. We've seen a huge increase in the numbers of students achieving a grade five in English uh, which is a strong uh, English and maths which is a strong pass and in addition to that that's reflected in the number of children coming here. Um, we are heavily oversubscribed over this year, or we were for year seven. Um, so we had 210 places available, we're well over that at the minute, we've got above 280 students in our current year 7 cohort and I expect that to be a trend to, that, that continues. Um, student progress has, has moved forward significantly as well, um, obviously there have been disruptions in the exam system due to Covid, however um, we've made very very strong progress, I would suggest that we are in the top 5% of schools nationally for progress on the results that children are achieving at the minute which is just fantastic and that's something that we're looking to continue to improve and develop. The Delta philosophy is, is really important for us here at Gould and, and the philosophy is changing lives and, and changing lives in a, in a real positive way and the whole ethos is around improving outcomes for children in the north of England and we're really I would say here at Gould a great example of that and we place children at, at the centre of everything we do. We like to collaborate with other schools, we develop professionals so that they can be the best teachers that they can be and we're just ensuring that children are consistently making good progress that's absolutely at the center of every, everything we do but it's not only about the progress side of things it's also about developing the whole child so there are a range of things that we do to make sure children leave the academy and go out prepared to be good citizens who are able to contribute to wider society it's all about giving children the best possible start in life and, and in order to do that we put the quality of teaching absolutely at the center of everything we do we closely track uh, children's behaviour and attitude. We ensure that they have a, a broad and balanced curriculum um, so it's not just about the academic subject, there's also those opportunities for vocational subjects in the arts etc to make sure children get a real good balance in what it is they do. We will go the full extra mile really to support students' individual needs and in addition to that we have a range of enrichment activities that are really exciting for the children to take part in as well uh, and we, we recognise that that's, an, that's a real key part of coming to, to Google Academy. It's now that point in, in my little presentation here where I want to give you some advice. So my advice to you moving forward, number one, bring your child here to our, our open evening. I think that's a really important thing to do. The children need to see the school in action and you as parents and carers need to see the school in action. Number two, get along and try and listen to my speech. So I've done a, a little bit, given you a little bit of a taste of what I'm going to talk about now, but obviously a little bit more in depth on, on the evening. When you do come in, Quiz all the students that are out, around and about, helping, talk to them, ask them about the school. And in addition to that, talk to the teachers. Don't be afraid to ask them the tough questions about what life is like at Google Academy. Take a good look at the relationships in the time that you're here, and then make sure you write down that admissions deadline, which is the 31st of October 2021, um, where you decide which secondary school you're going to choose. Finally from me then, Success is not always a, a linear line, sometimes you know you have ups and downs, particularly for your children coming into a, a secondary school and they'll be here for a five year period, but we're confident that what we do at the school and the, the systems that we have and the support that we have in place allow children to achieve success and yeah there might be ups and downs along the way, but we're here to help, we're here to support, we've got a great environment. And that concludes my presentation, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all here on our open evening. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact us here at school. Thanks for listening.